In this tutorial, we're going to be doing a 10 minute machine knit bow. The machine we're using is the Addy Professional 22 needle. And with this pattern, we're going to be starting with waist yarn. You can do as many or as few rows as you like. I personally do five to six. Once you finish casting on your waist yarn, you're just going to trim it and let it fall to the center. I'm going to be using Yarn Bee Marblesque in taupe for this particular bow. And you just place that in your feeder, let a little bit hang in the center. For this pattern, we're going to be doing 20 rows of your primary color. Also make sure to reset your counter to zero. Okay, once we've arrived at 20 rows, you're going to take your primary color, trim it, let it fall in the center. And grab your waist yarn once again. And just like before, we're going to do about five to six rows of waist yarn at the end. Once you've completed your waist yarn, just go ahead and take it out of your feeder, trim your yarn, let it fall to the center. And this part is super easy for the waist yarn cast off. All you have to do is just keep knitting and it'll just fall off of the hook when it's finished. Take your knit and just stretch it. Give it a little tug. I'm gonna be using a five millimeter crochet hook for this closure. So what you do is you find your two pieces of yarn at the end and don't pull them too tight, but pull them a little bit. And then you're gonna line up your little loops. So you're gonna line up these two together, these two together, and you're just gonna go all the way down until you get to the opposite side. And that's gonna be where you create your fold. So insert your crochet hook into your first loop there and you're going to go to the opposite side and grab the other loop and just pull it through. So go to the other side and go underneath that one and then you're going to pull that loop through the loop that was on your hook. Just keep repeating this process back and forth from side to side until you get all the way down to the end of your row. So once you get your hook through the very last loop, you're just going to take the tail and pull that through. So I'm going to go ahead and close the other side and then come back and show you how to remove your waist yarn. You can remove the waist yarn by just pulling your loops, but I find that if I cut the opposite side of the tails, it just comes out a lot easier for me.
Remove your waist yarn by starting on the side that your tails are hanging and just pull one loop at a time and it'll all unravel really easily. When you're finished, you should have a nice little rectangle with two hanging pieces of tail. I always go in the rectangle and then try to pull the hook out through the top corner where the tail is. Just grab that tail and pull it down through. If your tail's super long, you can just pull it out and then just trim it. I do this because I feel like it just makes that little knot there stronger. Our knit rectangle is complete, and if you'll notice the ends, they are super nice and finished. Now we're ready to turn our rectangle into a bow. I always start by pinching up a little bit in the center. Grab some yarn to do your tying. This can be the same color or it can be a contrasting color. So take your two strands, center them in the bow the best you can, and we're going to do three shoestring ties. So the first one's going to be in the front, and that little piece that we pulled up in the middle, as you'll see, it will hold its place in between those two edges. So do a tie there, and then you're going to flip your bow over, do another shoestring tie on the back side. Flip it over again back to the front and we're going to do one more shoestring tie there. Now we're going to do a couple of wraps. So take one and then wrap it around. Take the other one and wrap it in the opposite direction. You can do one or two. I typically do just one here. Now we're going to tie knots. When you're finished with your knots, you can cut your yarn closer to the knot. I find this kind of risky because it can come untied easier. So I cut the yarn about the length of the bow and then I go in with my crochet hook towards closest to the center of the knot as I can. And then I just pull that hanging yarn back through kind of like we did at the beginning. Your bow is now finished. There are several different things you can do with the bow. Here's just a couple of ideas. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you make a bow, please tag us at Angie and Britt on Instagram. We also have the Addy Professional Knitting Machines available on our website, angieandbritt.com.